Hello Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a general reading for Leo from the 2nd to the 8th of July 2018. I put the decks I'm using down in the description box. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if this video resonates with you. I'm going to start off with the Gypsy Witch uh, fortune cards to give us a general reading of the energies for the week and then I'll proceed with the, the tarot reading. So I've shuffled this deck, I'm just going to cut it and just draw some cards. Okay, so the main um, card for the reading is um, there's a big change coming in your life. Uh, there might be some loss. Uh, look out, watch out for theft. Um, but definitely a really dramatic change coming along for this week. Um, maybe uh, this loss or uh, is uh, or um, maybe bad luck, if you like, uh, is something that um, you know will cause this dramatic change. So a dramatic change coming in uh, that will, will, will just shift the energies completely to something new. Um, on your mind is your home and security. Uh, so just um, watch out since you've got this loss, um, this change coming on, it might involve the house, the home. Uh, make sure your belongings are safe and secure uh, because there could be some sort of loss, some sort of theft going on uh, surrounding your home. Um, what you're thinking about is love, so you're thinking about your relationships with somebody uh, that's worrying you a little bit. Um, maybe you don't feel very secure about them, and that's been playing on your mind. Um, in your past, you've got um, uh, the lady and um, the order, so there's been some sort of recognition for something that you've done, a public recognition for something that you've done. You specifically have gotten a, an award or some sort of official recognition, an accolade for uh, something well done. Maybe people at work have noticed your, your good, um, a good job, but there's some sort of award that has come to you in the recent past. Uh, moving on to the future, there is some news coming in, um, and uh, this might be... Um, it's some good news coming in uh, and it might be a change of luck um, for your future. So you're waiting for this good news to come in uh, that will bring you some sort of uh, reward and maybe some sort of fame um, coming into your life. So uh, watch out for that news coming in. So just be aware that, you know, um, uh, you just make sure that your belongings are safely uh, tucked away. Uh, in case there is any kind of loss, theft going on around you. And, um, and uh, you're looking out for some news coming in that will, will bring you uh, some sort of change of luck. So maybe some good news coming in to you this week. So for the general read, I'm using the Pagan Tarot. I have shuffled this deck. I'm just going to cut, cut it. Let's just draw the cards. So, um, for your first card, okay, sorry, for the energies of the cards, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So, you have come to a completion, an end of a cycle. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, everything you have now uh, is not giving you much pleasure. It's standing around collecting dust, and uh, you now looking at yourself, reviewing the situation, and you've taken out the blindfold. Uh, so you can see the situation clearly, so you've got clarity coming in. Um, you are looking at yourself, reviewing yourself, looking at the things that you have accumulated, and I don't think you're very happy anymore within the situation. It's become very stale, and it seems like now you are deciding to move on to a new phase in your life. So the 10 is a number of completion, and you have completed that cycle that you have been in, that you worked towards, and now you want to move on to something more, something better, something more fulfilling, something more challenging. So the first card, the main card, is the Seven of Swords. And this card is a theft card, and it says, you know, watch out, uh, somebody might be watching your house, your home. Uh, I don't mean to make you paranoid, but uh, with uh, a theft card coming out in the uh, Gypsy Witch, as well as this card, I'd say watch out for theft. 
be very, very vigilant. If you need to put in an alarm system, do that. But make sure that you have your, your belongings very carefully, um, you know, uh, under lock and key. Because somebody's watching and there looks like there might be some sort of theft going on. And with the second card being the Five of Pentacles, there is a loss. So, yes, please make sure that you are looking after your things um, because there could be a loss uh, of an item uh, and that results in, in loss of money. So, uh, with this Five of Pentacles following the Seven of Pentacles, watch out for theft. Seriously, watch out for theft. And... Um, for the last year, you've got the Ace of Swords, so a lot of clarity coming in, new ideas, new situations coming in. Uh, you have decided that, you know, you're not taking any more crap from anybody. Uh, you're cutting through all the nonsense, and you are laying down the law yourself. And you don't really care who you um, irritate, piss off uh, in this process, but you are going to say what you need to say, and you are bringing in your truth. You are making sure that your truth is being heard. You are not taking any nonsense from anybody anymore. Um, in the last three months, you have been spending a lot of time by yourself reconsidering your whole emotional um, situation and whether or not it's been worth it for you to be sitting in this particular situation. And maybe you are dissatisfied, so you want to move on. So this is the card of dissatisfaction. And it's a card that, you know, you really um, have had enough uh, kind of and you want to really move on. So you are coming up with a plan on how to do this. So you've been spending some time reviewing yourself and deciding how you can move out of that situation. And you want to manifest. This is on your mind. You want to, to make something happen. Uh, and you're going to focus all your energies you've decided on doing this manifestation, whether it means that you go back to, to studying, getting further education, uh, but you are going to... Um, to try and bring your plans out into action. You're going to try and put your plans into action. You're going to focus all your energy on that. Um, you are trying to find some balance within your life, but also the Justice card, uh, as a card going to the future, says that there might be some legal situations. You might need to seek some uh, expert advice, uh, weigh uh, all the pros and cons, decide how to proceed. So there might be something legal coming into your life, and it's going to require some expert advice and some... Um, um, you need to assess the whole situation. Make sure you keep everything above board. Make sure all contracts are read uh, before you put your signature to anything. You are trying to um, reach your goals. I think you've reached a stage in your life now that uh, the cycle that you have been in, you feel, has come to an end. You have achieved everything that you need to achieve from that particular cycle, and you are now ready to move on to make sure that you, uh, maybe the old cycle you have you know, you're an expert at it. There's no more progress that can be made. So you want to go further, branch out, um, reach the rest of the world. So the, the, the world card shows the end of a cycle, um, and you are ready to move on, getting ready to move on to a new phase in your life. Um, in your uh, surroundings, uh, maybe you are in a relationship that is really overpowering. Uh, you're a bit codependent in that relationship, too reliant on, the, on another person. And maybe that's why you want to change things and move out of that. Maybe you've reached a, a stalemate in your relationship. You're feeling uh, powerless as well. But if you are pow feeling powerless, there's always a solution and there's always a way to get out of uh, something that you're not happy in. You don't seem to be very, very happy in that particular situation. It might be too stale for you right now. You're hoping to find new love, a new kind of emotion fulfillment and you're looking deep within your cup of emotions to find out how you can fill it so here you are looking to see how you can find something new um, in your life and uh, and fill this cup you, you have an idea uh, but you're hoping that something new comes in so um, the initiative chalices the temperance card and the five chalices are the final outcome even in the initiative of chalices, you can see this girl is looking really deeply within her cup. She is trying to find the answers of the solutions and in her own cup, and it looks like her cup is, is not filled with what she wants. So you are looking for something new emotionally, and maybe with this card 
of the Four of Cups where you are very discontent, looking deep within yourself to find out where you can find your emotional fulfillment is what's going through your mind right now. So you are hoping and you want something new to come in. You're very desperate for that. Temperance, the Temperance card says that you know, you're trying to, to be balanced. You're trying to find a path of moderation. Um, you're trying to find or reach your goals um, that you had in your mind. So you're trying to find the pathway to your goals. You're doing a lot of research, studying, um, you know, um, you're trying different kinds of avenues um, to make sure that you reach this goal that you had in your mind. Maybe your vision has become blurred over the years because you've settled for less, but now you've decided, you know, this, but women's got um, the pentacle, um, so she's trying to find her her spiritual growth, she's trying to find her emotional growth, she's trying to manifest um, everything that she wants, but she's trying to do this from a very moderate point of view, so, you know, not causing too many waves while she does it. And you are quite focused on, on reaching this goal, this path, because she's working very, very hard to do this. And the final card is the Five of Cups. Um, something has, is, has disappointed you. Um, you are feeling a bit miserable. It doesn't look like there's any particular situation here, but something has made you very discontent. You are crying over an event that happened. Uh, people are offering you support, but you're not accepting it. So something has happened that has caused you to go down this route of trying to find that emotional happiness uh, that you are not getting at the moment. Um, so um, there are people to help you. If you just turn around and look, there are people to help you get through your hurdles and uh, try not to focus too much on your disappointments and loss in order for you to move on. So I'm going to just draw three cards from this um, fairy tarot, just for advice. I'll cut these cards. I have shuffled them before. I'll just draw three cards. So the first card is the Knight of Earth. So uh, take time to buckle down and get things done. Um, Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. So somebody's there to help you, give you advice, and uh, you know you need to get yourself in order, basically, um, and get back, get down to work, and and um, and honor your commitment. So if you have anything that you have to do, make sure that it is done, and and uh, there is somebody there to give you some some guidance, a uh, guardian angel. Uh, the second card is renewal, which says review and uh, evaluate. Um, a favorable assessment of the facts, time to move to a new direction. So yes, uh, this usually is the judgment card, which says, you know, reinvent yourself, leave the old behind and move forward to the new. And the last card is the six of water, which says memories from your history or childhood, um, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. So you have been looking to the past a lot to try and get some answers for the present. Don't get stuck in the past. Use it as a learning experience, but move forward. Uh, if you have children, there might be a focus on your children at this point, not at the moment. Maybe that is the thing that is keeping you within your relationship and it's making you very, very happy. You've got to decide what is important, personal happiness, um, whether it's the commitments that you have to your family that is keeping you there. But all in all, you know, uh, spiritual growth is a very selfish thing. We do need to grow spiritually, and each person has to do it by themselves. So make sure that you're doing something that makes you grow. Um, despite the consequences, you need to grow uh, in this life. And, you know, we only have one shot at coming and doing this kind of growth at this particular time. So make the most of it. And... Um, and try and go for something that makes you happy. I always say that, go for things that make you happy, because in the end, it's only your happiness that matters, not anybody else's. And nobody else will appreciate any sacrifice that you ever make for them. So <laughs> with that being said, I hope that this message uh, resonated with you. And um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.